G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, we're going to be looking at how to convert a hexadecimal number into its decimal equivalent. So, we'll be looking at these examples here. We're going to be converting increasingly larger hexadecimal numbers as well as a decimal place hexadecimal number. So, that's going to be right through the video there. So, let's have a quick recap of what hexadecimal numbers and decimal numbers are. So the difference between hexadecimal and decimal numbers is they are just different base counting systems. With decimal numbers, we use a base of 10. That is to say, if we were to look at the digits when we count using decimal uh, base counting system, we have the following digits. I'll put them right over here. So we have decimal, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and they're the digits that we can choose from to make up decimal numbers. Okay, you're probably well aware of those are digits right there. But with hexadecimal, we have extra digits to choose from. This is a base 16. Hex means six, dec means 10. Six plus 10, this is a base 16 counting system. So how do we uh, have those extra digits here? I'll show you what these are. So with hexadecimal, we have the same digits to start off on zero is equal to zero, right through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are equivalent between hexadecimal and decimal. With hexadecimal, as I said, this is a base 16, we have extra digits to choose from. So usually with decimal, what we do here is go to 10. With hexadecimal, we go to A. Uh, with decimal, we'd go to 11. We have B, uh, 12 is C, 13 is D, 14 is E, and 15 here, which I've just managed to squeeze in, is F. So they're the digits that we use for hexadecimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to be changing between these with all those examples we looked at before. So let's start with our first example. We're going to convert 32A, which is in base 16, it's a hexadecimal, across to its decimal equivalent. Now the way we do this is as follows. We're going to be basically going through for each of our uh, digits here, our A, our 2, and our 3, and we're going to convert these across to their decimal equivalents, but we're going to multiply each of them by successively increasing powers of 16. I'll show you what I mean here, what that means. So A here is going to be multiplied by, well, that's when we work out what it is, it's going to be multiplied by 16 to the power of 0. Then we're going to find out what 2 is equal to in its decimal equivalent and multiply it by 16 to the power of 1. Then we're going to get 3 here and get its decimal equivalent and multiply it by 16 to the power of 2. All right, and so on and so forth. And that, by adding them together, we'll get our decimal number. So it's going to be worth going through and just having a quick jot down of what these different powers are equal to to save us a bit of time. So 16 to the power of 0, well, any number to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. We have 16 to the power of 1, that's going to be equal to, well, just 16 by itself. We have 16 squared. That means 16 times 16. That is equal to 256. And a bit later on, we will be using a four-digit example, and we'll be using 16 to the power of 3. That is equal to 16 times 16 times 16, which is equal to 4096. So... Let's go through now and work these out. I'll get rid of that there, and we are going to successively go through now and work this out. So first off, we have A here. Now A, if you have a look, we have A which is equivalent to, well, A is equivalent to 10. And we're gonna multiply that by 16 to the power of zero. 16 to the power of zero is equal to one, so this is equal to 10. All right, now what we have is this one here, the two in the tens part there. So what we're going to do is we get two, two is equal to two in decimal. So we're gonna get two and we're gonna multiply it by 16 to the power of one. Well, 16 to the power of one is equal to 16. So two times 16, this is equal to 32. Next, we have three here in the hundreds. Well, three is going to be multiplied by well, you've got it, 16 to the power of 2, 16 times 16, which is equal to 3 times 256. 3 times 256, this is equal to 768. Now, to get our final answer, fairly simply, what we do is go through and we add 
These together, 10 plus 32 plus 768. We have the decimal equivalent, which is 810. And now we are talking in a base 10. Pretty simple, right? Now, if you like this video so far, hit the like button and maybe leave me a comment telling me the uh, funniest hexadecimal number that you can think of. All right, let's have a look at those other examples. So next we have B3F. So maybe you go through and you convert this from base 16 across to its base 10 equivalent. All right, so first off, what we're going to do is we are going to be multiplying this F here, which is equal to 15, multiplied by, well, 16 to the power of zero, which is equal to 15. All right, pretty cool so far, pretty easy. Let's move to the three here. So this three here is being multiplied by 16 to the power of one. Well, 16 to the power of one, that's just equal to 16. So three times 16 is equal to 48. And we have B here. Now B is different. B, if we have a look at hexadecimal to decimal, is equal to 11. So 11 multiplied by 16 squared. That is 11 multiplied by 256. Well, what does that equal? Uh, that is equal to 2,816. So now what we do is we're going to go through and add all these together. So let's go through and do that. If you were to add 15 plus 48 plus 2,816, you get 2,879. And this is in base 10. Is that the answer you got? Well, Let's do a bigger number now. What about you try this next one by yourself? So we'll go through and we'll have a look at a bigger value right now, a four digit value, and then we'll have a look at that decimal one, the one with the decimal place in there. I'm not sure you call a decimal place with hexadecimal. Do you still call a decimal place? Well, that I do not know. So we have C3, D9, and this is in base 16. We're gonna convert this across to its decimal equivalent. What about you give this one a go? So the first one here, we have nine, and this is being multiplied by, well, 16 to the power of zero, this is equal to nine. All right, next we had D, now convert D across. D is equal to 13, and this is being multiplied by 16 to the power of one, just multiplied by 16. 13 times 16 is 208. We have three here, well, three is gonna stay as three, and it's being multiplied by 16 to the power of two, which is three times 256. What does that equal? Well, you can get out your calculator and do this, or however you do it, but three times 256 is equal to 768. The next one we have, finally, is C here. Now C, well, that's a bigger number here, so C is going to be equal to 12. If we look at our conversion chart there, 12, and we're going to be multiplying this by 16 to the power of 3, which is equal to 4,096. So what does that equal? Well, 12 times 4,096 is 49,152. So now, once again, what are you going to do? You're going to go through and add all these together. So what do we get when we do that? 9 plus 208 plus 768 plus 49,152, we get 50,137 in base 10. So let's have a look at our final example, the one involving the decimal place. And let me know in the comments whether it's actually whether you know it's called a decimal place or not, but it is 28B point C4, and we're going to be converting that from base 16 across to base 10. So the way we do this is as follows. We're going to start by just having a look at the uh, digits to the left of the decimal place here, the ones that are in whole numbers there. So starting with the units there, we could work these out fairly simply. We just have B there, and that's going to be equal to, well, B is 11, and we multiply this by 16 to the power of zero, which is equal to one. Uh, 11 times one is equal to 11. Next, we had eight in the tens part there, and that's being multiplied by 16 to the power of one. That's eight times 16, which is equal to 128. Uh, for the 200 here, for the two, we had two multiplied by 16 squared, 
16 squared was 256. 2 times 256 is equal to 512. No problem so far. Fairly simple, right? What do we do with this decimal place? Okay, it's fairly simple. As you can see here, if we were looking at our values that we've been successively multiplying here, well, this units part here, we multiplied by 16 to the power of 0, and the tens we multiplied by 16 to the power of 1, and the hundreds we multiplied by 16 to the power of 2. Now, if we continue left to right that pattern there, 16 squared, 16 to the power of 1, 16 to the power of 0, you can see we're going down by 1 each time. What we multiply the decimal place here, the tenths unit, I guess, the C, is we're going to multiply that by 16 to the power of negative 1. And then the hundredths, we're going to be multiplying by 16 to the power of of negative 2. So what are the values of 16 to the power of negative 1 and 16 to the power of negative 2? Well, 16 to the power of negative 1, well, that's just equal to 1 over 16. And 16 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 16 times 16, which is equal to 1 over 256. Awesome, so let's go through and do this. Okay, so for C here, C is equal to 12, and that's going to be multiplied by, well, as we can see here, 16 to the negative 1, which is 1 over 16. So 12 multiplied by 1 over 16 is equal to 12 over 16. We leave that as a fraction for the minute. And the 4 here, well, that's going to be equal to 4 multiplied by, well, 1 over 256, which is equal to 4 over 256. All right, so now what we do is we have to go through and add all of these together. Uh, we have 11 plus 128 plus 512, which is equal to 651. And then what we're going to do is we have this part here, which is 12 over 16 plus 4 over 256. Now this is going to require you to do a little bit of a, uh, you know, equivalent fractions and that sort of deal, but all you need to really do is that 12 over 16, multiply the top and the bottom by 16 to get the, you know, equivalent fraction there, and then you're going to get 196 over 256. Now you can go through and you can convert this across right now. You can see that I've run out of room, so I'm just going to go through and we'll just rub out a bit of thing here so I can show you how what this would be. So in this space here, we can go 651 point, and then you just go 196 divided by 256. This is point 765, 625, and this is a base 10. Anyway, that's how you go through and you convert hexadecimals to decimal numbers. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And leave me a comment telling me what you think. Once again, maybe your favourite uh, hexadecimal number. Maybe something pretty funny there. Big shout out to my patrons. Your support is always appreciated. And if you want to support the Math channel, check out in the link in the description. You can become a patron. It's always well appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.